Today at GCL Studios we will be covering some WordPress basics on how to create a page, how to place pictures on a page, how to create a new menu and then add items to it, and then how to place the new page you created in the menu. The theme we're working with today is the default 2011 theme in WordPress. However, the steps that we will be following can apply to most themes in WordPress. So let us begin by logging into the WordPress dashboard. And in the dashboard, what we'll do is go straight to the pages section. In the Pages section, there are two ways to create a page. You can either click on the Add New button here, or you can click on Add New here. So click on either one, and that'll bring us straight to the Add New Page section. And what we will do is title this page just a test page. <coughs> Once you add your title, you can go ahead and add your content. This is my content here. Period. And uh, once you have created your content, the next step we want to do is add a picture to your content. The picture can be placed anywhere on the page, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to, we're going to keep it simple and just add a picture uh, in the post or page. You want to click on the Upload Insert link here with this little icon, and that brings up the uh, Add Media window. You can drag and drop pictures into this box and it will automatically add pictures to you, uh, the server or you can click on select file button. In our case we're going to select just this default Blackberry logo and you can see the progress was made down here and uh, we now have the image uploaded. Automatically once the picture has been uploaded, you get a title to the picture. You can always change that title. And we have some default settings at the moment. And what we're going to do is, for the link URL, we're going to click on None. The reason for this is because it's a small image and it doesn't require uh, a bigger image to pop up when you click on it. Alignment, we will leave it alone and we'll also leave the size alone. So we just click on Insert Post and there's the image. The image has now been inserted. Before we publish the page, I would suggest we click on the screen options and if you don't have discussion check, make sure you put a check mark there and then you can close that. What that does is it brings up this little discussions box at the bottom of the screen. If you want people to add comments to your page and your team allows it, then uh, you leave this box checked. If not, then uncheck it so that there is no comments box at the bottom of the page. And then if everything looks fine on your page, you can go ahead and click on the Publish button. Once the page has been published, you can click on the View Page button or link, and you will see your new page has been published and there's your picture with your content. You may notice that the new page you created uh, has already been automatically added to your menu here. However, if you don't have uh, an automatic menu setup, the next thing we want to do is create a new menu in the dashboard. So let's close this tab here. In order to create a new menu, we need to go to the Appearance section and then select Menus. If you just click on Appearance, it still brings up the options for that page. And you will see Menus in this little sidebar here. So click on Menus, and we will be in the Menus section. At the moment, my theme has a primary navigation, and then there's a utility navigation. These were menus that were created uh, automatically by a theme, or they may have already been there before. And what we want to do is, we want to create a new menu. There's a little tab with a plus sign in it, and we're going to click on that item there. And it brings up this 
default box that says to create a custom menu, give it a name above, and then click the menu, or the click create menu. So we're going to call this my new menu, and then we're going to click on create menu. The next thing we want to do is add some links to this menu. Under pages, you'll see most recent, but if you have uh, more than that, you can click on view all and you'll see all your pages. What we're going to do is we're going to add the sample page and we're going to add the test page to the menu. Click on add menu and they automatically appear in the menu box here. You can always change the order of the the menu by moving the menu uh, boxes up and down. Once the items have been added to your menu, you can click on the Save Menu option, and that will update your menu. But it still won't show up in this navigation bar here. Even if we refresh the page, the old navigation is still there. What we need to do is we need to select the theme uh, locations box and select which navigation bar we want to show up. So we want to select the new menu we created. We click on save. And then when you refresh your page, the navigation bar has been updated with the new menu you created. This includes the new, the new page you have added to your website. So you click on that and your page is there. And you are now done with the menu. To summarize, we have created a new page. We have added content to, content to the page. We added an image to the page. We created a new menu. And then we added the page to the menu. Thank you for enjoying this tutorial.